Hey guys, Mark Hopkins here, and we're gonna talk some old camera talk today. I've been collecting cameras, uh, film cameras, since about 2012. I've been shooting since uh, early 90s. I, I got my start as an assistant in a commercial studio. All we shot was film. Got into wedding photography in the late 90s, and when digital came, back in 2001, I think it was uh, starting to make a breakthrough and becoming more affordable. I jumped all over it. I thought, wow, man, this is gonna be great. No more film costs. I can shoot as much as I want and uh, not have to pay for film and processing. So fast forward, here we are in 2020. And uh, actually before then, I mean, 2012, a lot of people were, were going back to film. So I started in 2012, started my collection. I have all my old film cameras still, but I started looking at others as well. Bought a Contax G1 rangefinder. That's about the same time I got into street photography. Um, got a Contax G1, a Contax T2, and then just started going to estate sales and uh, garage sales and whatnot and collecting uh, old cameras, old film cameras. So the one I'm going to talk about today, though, is the Yashica Electro 35 GSN. That's what I want to talk about today. Here's the, here's the background on this camera, guys. I, this, this was my very first camera back in 1982, 1983, or 81 even. I started using this camera here. A uh, neighbor gave it to me, and this is what I was using back then. And... Uh, it was stolen probably in the early 80s sometime, 85, somewhere around there. And uh, just picked this one up for sentimental reasons. Um, thought it would be cool to, to get the very same camera that I started with. And uh, picked it up a couple days ago for like 25 bucks, actually 30 bucks. So back then, I used to think this was an amateur camera because the lens didn't come off. Everybody in my photo class had cool cameras where they had interchangeable lenses. And I was like, man, mine's junk. The uh, lens doesn't even come off. <laughs> and I remember my uh, college instructor, this is the first year of college, I took my first photo class. Um, he was talking about his Leica all the time. I didn't know what the hell a Leica was, but he, he, he talked to, told us a little bit about it but I didn't, I didn't really care because it was a rangefinder. It didn't look legit. It didn't look like a pro camera, not like a SLR. So I had no interest in rangefinders back then. This camera got stolen. I didn't really care. Um, then back in like 2012-ish, I got into street photography, started uh, reading up and watching a lot of videos on street photography and discovered that the rangefinder is such a cool camera because it's so quiet. And what's going on with this? Oh, it's a lock. It's got a lock on it. Can you hear that, guys? Let me put it a little closer. So if you're discreet and you're all being cool, you can barely hear it. I also discovered that this lens is a pretty damn good lens. A lot of people love this lens. It's sharp. And I, was looking at, and I was looking at some old photos that I have. I still have my negatives and photos from this camera back in the early 80s. And the photos were sharp. Even my instructor back then, he goes, man, it's a, it's a sharp, sharp lens you got there. I was like, yeah, but it's junk. It doesn't, the lenses don't come off. <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> anyway, uh, pretty happy that I was able to pick one of these up for like 30 bucks because they're, they're going for like at least 50 on eBay, then uh, you got to add in like $20 shipping, $70. And they're not, any, not even as clean as, as this one. This one's pretty damn clean. I haven't tested it out yet. Uh, I hope it works. The shutter speed seemed to work. Um, but uh, this camera is a, I don't know. It feels, it feels uh, solid, but not of the highest quality as compared to my Olympus. I picked this up at a garage sale as well for like 40 bucks with three different lenses. It was a deal. 
And uh, I've been shooting this a lot. And this is a great little camera. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm rambling on now. Enough of that. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video on the Yashica. I guess Spider-Man made this camera popular, so first we had Kylie Jenner and the Contax T2, which I bought in 2012 for 250 bucks. Now they're going for like, what, six, 700 bucks? Um, now Spider-Man has uh, inflated the price on these babies here. Good little camera though. So anyway, and here are more photos that I've shot with the Yashica Electro 35. Keep in mind, these photos were from the early 80s, guys. Anyway, have a good day. Here we go, guys. These are from a ranch that my girlfriend in high school, her parents managed this ranch up in uh, Santa Barbara area. Nice little ranch. Remember that place pretty fondly. Anyway, these were printed up back in uh, my college days. Here's my buddy from high school. We still th stay in touch. And here's my car, 1960 VW Bug. Took a lot of pictures of the Bug back then, and I got tons more. But these are the ones I had printed up already uh, at 8x10 that I found in the attic. And just wanted I just scanned them in and wanted to share those with you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey guys, before you sign off, uh, check out this new shirt I designed. Please support the channel and uh, we'll get more photography videos up. But uh, selling these shirts for 20 bucks, if you want one, send me an email to markhopkinsphoto at gmail.com and we'll get you uh, lined up. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video, guys. Take care.